Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I'm going to be speaking about overwhelm and I'm going to give you one little tip and it is really only a little tip to help you to start to unravel the overwhelm and find your way through it. Now, I'm sure we've all experienced overwhelm at some point in time. It can be through work, it can be through an emotional trauma, it can be just facing something that you've never done in your life before that seems overwhelming because you don't really know how you're going to do it when you don't feel you have the skills for it. Whatever kind of overwhelm you're facing, what I'm going to share with you today is something you can use for any of those situations. And overwhelm can affect us differently. It can make people very, very stressed. It can, some people can turn off and kind of almost, it's, it triggers our fight, flight and freeze mechanisms, basically. And however you are hardwired is how you're going to react to the situation. So some of you will attack it, <laughs> as in the fight. Some of you will fly from it and try and ignore it and pretend it doesn't exist. And some of you will freeze and just know, not know what to do about it and kind of go into a bit of a depression, comatosed kind of state. But the thing with overwhelm is that you can't hide from it. You can't run from it. Um, you might be able to dive in and tackle it um, as in the fight re response, but the other two responses don't help you to overcome it and it doesn't tend to go away unless you confront it. So the little bit of advice that I'm going to share today is just that. It's to start taking one small step at a time. It's like when you look at a mountain and you wonder how on earth you could possibly climb to the top. Um, if you think about the climb, if you think about doing it all in one go, it can be just too much, too much to face, too much to, too much for challenge, just something that you're not capable of. But if you look down at the ground and you ask yourself, can I take this one step? Then the answer is definitely yes. Yes, I can take this one small step. So if you are facing overwhelm, or if it is something that you have faced in the past, or something that comes up for you in the future, just ask yourself, what a... First of all, learn what your response is, because your response is always very interesting to understand yourself. And the more you understand yourself, the more you can't hide from yourself. Because until we actually know what our reactions are, we can just assume that we're behaving normally. When you know what your reactions to overwhelm are, then you can't hide from yourself when you go into those reactions. And when you do, then you can choose to take action. And it's just finding that one little thing that you can do that can move you forward. It might be asking for help or asking for advice. Um, I've recently, the reason I'm sharing this is because I've recently been experiencing overwhelm myself. Um, and for me, this particular overwhelm is in regards to um, learning to do something that I've never done before. And my, my way to get through it is to ask for help, to speak to people who have done the things that I'm hoping to do myself, people who have a lot more experience. And what I'm doing is I'm seeking out people who can give me recommendations of experts to speak to so that I don't get hoodwinked by charlatans. <laughs> and quite often what we fear surrounding the overwhelm. So for me, because I don't know enough about the situation, I'm worried that I'm going to make a mistake, that I'm going to do something wrong, that um, I'm going to take advice from the wrong person who doesn't really have my best interests at heart. And when that happens, it's wise, well, what I'm hoping is wise, because it's what I'm doing, is to find people who have done it before me, people who have more experience in this particular area, people who I do trust, who might not have the expertise that I'm looking for, but can point me in the right direction to find the people with the expertise, to find recommendations. In fact, it's actually a mistake I made when I first moved to the UK. I was setting up a website and I happened to walk past a shop advertising web website services um, on the high street in Bath. And I went in there just because I was in the UK. I expected people to be a professional. Um, I expected them to know what they were doing and to be able to deliver on what they promised. Um, and actually, in this particular instance, this company didn't do any of those things. And since then, although it was quite a harsh lesson to learn, since then, I will only try and engage people who I actually have direct recommendations from people that I trust. So really, this episode is all about taking that initial step. And it might not seem like a lot, it might not seem like it's going to help you past your overwhelm, 
But when you take that little step, you're moving in the right direction and you'll find that you pick up momentum as you keep going and you build confidence in yourself that you're able to do it because you've taken that first little step. So break it down, break it down into small tiny chunks that don't seem overwhelming and start making those little steps forwards. If you like these episodes that I do, these ser this series, then please subscribe and I also appreciate any likes that you're able to pass my way. They help me to be visible to others that might find what I'm sharing interesting. Also, if you're interested in any of my coaching or online courses, there's links to my website down below in the show notes. Have a fabulous week and I'll see you again next week. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.